the Breeders' Cup fillies and mares is next up. This is a one mile three furlong group one. We're back on the turf for this one. Strange distance as well. One mile three door to door. Leon van Rinsburg at the top. Fiber Joshua Sutherland, Francesca Kamani, Dan Hughes, Funny Sunny, David Hooley, Jane Burden, Martin Leedham, Barbara Coas, Darren Thompson, Cafe Pacific, and closed entry both for Craig Allen, Cool Hand Lucinda, and Kuwaiti Lioness. Both for Paul Rhodes, Roaring Hawk for Dan Hughes, and Tesla Girl for Leon van Rinsburg. 12 of them then, top class fillies and mares, this should be a good one, one or two of these stepping up in trip, one or two dropping down, one or two handicappers moving up in dis in class as well, so it could be a good one this, they're away and racing, and who's going to be the first to show, looks like the grey Francesca Camani, who's going to get the run and go off into a clear lead, we know that one stays a, stays a mile and a half, so she's going to want to try and turn this into a test of stamina I would think, whereas Barbara Coas chases in second, then Jane Burden looking at two of the Paul Rhodes horses there, more milers I think, so they'll be wanting it to be slower and then turn it into a sprint. But Francesca Camani is going to try and make it into a proper middle distance race and leads by about two and a half lengths to Barber Coas in second, Tesla Girl is third, Kuwaiti Lioness is fourth, then Cafe Pacific and Cool Hand Lucinda. Jane Burden's in the middle of the pack as well, looking towards the back, the second grey, Roaring Hawk stable companion of the leader, just moves past a couple there as they pass the, well what will be the furlong pole next time round, past the big screen, the total eyes aboard and then coming down to pass the winning post with a complete circuit of of the track to go very soon and the back marker at this point is just fibre but as they pass the winning post then it's cool and Lucinda that's gone into the lead Francesca Camani on the inside being driven up to regain the lead then Kuwaiti Lioness is in third then comes Funny Sunny and Barber Coas after that and a big long line of them all pretty much together with the exception of the back two door to door and Cafe Pacific who look like they're going to try and work their way through the inside rather than try and pull around the outside but it's still Francesca Camani who's got the lead by about a length to cool Hand Lucinda in second, but now Funny Sunny being driven up to take much closer order. So to Kuwaiti Lioness, Jane Burden is after that one. Then comes Barber Coas and door to door closed entry has worked through the pack quite nicely. Tesla Girl is also trying to come with the run around the outside. So to his fibre, Roaring Hawk and Cafe Pacific with work to do as they pass the three furlong pole and begin the long sweeping turn into the short straight. And it's Francesca Camani now being challenged by Funny Sunny. Jane Burden's moved into third, then Cool Hand Lucinda and Kuwaiti Lioness, Barber Coas is next, then Fibre, door to doors after that, Tesla Gills went really wide on the track, so to his Fibre. But they're inside the final furlong and a half now, and this leader is shot clear. It's funny, sunny now, clear of Kuwaiti Linus and Cool Hand Lucinda. Barber Coast Cafe Pacific, Jane Burden trying to run on, but they're inside the final half furlong in there. And funny, sunny is well clear. Funny, sunny still clear. Kuwaiti Linus is trying to close, but funny, sunny's got enough in hand. Funny, sunny takes it. Kuwaiti Linus, Cool Hand Lucinda, Cafe Pacific, closed entry all the way back to the long time leader, Francesca Camani. Just got done for tow, maybe. Time for that one to go up in trip, but it's a win for Funny Sonny and David Hooley. Took that one pretty cosily, really. So Funny Sonny, the winner for David Hooley. Kuwaiti Lioness for Paul Rhodes was second. Cool and Lucinda for Paul Rhodes again was third. Cafe Pacific for Greg Allen fourth. Also took fifth with closed entry.